Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're uh, continuing the playthrough of Hermetheus Paladin uh, in a dead is dead run. He is still trying to figure out for Akatosh where the dark powers, uh, the undeads of these lands are. And he has the suspicion that uh, the bandits here would know a little bit more. We are in and around uh, Windhelm, uh, still trying to be peace uh, that area, and we've uh, found our new location, the Wreck of the uh, Winter War, uh, as well as the coastal shoreline, which will give us plenty to do. We do have a cave and another cave, Forsaken Cave and a Kronvarger Cave later coming up. And maybe we also want to get a horse, but before uh, we enter, a few things that I've done off screen. I've invested a little money and uh, some time that uh, we had in order to get rid of uh, the heavy bone plate armor which was good from a protection standpoint but uh, was also quite heavy and i instead got us a set of reinforced chitin armor uh, pretty decent uh, not super valuable but uh, pretty decent uh, it is specifically good for what we're trying to do due to its low um, weight that it um, that it inherits so we can even put a casting uh, spell on which wasn't possible beforehand and uh, use a bit of uh, mammoth uh, stake to get that extra region going uh, we also got approached by uh, one of the fugitives uh, who hand us over this imperial bow of drawing. Let's see what uh, that is going to be good for afterwards. But before we uh, do anything, let me set up and then we're going to actually go. Time for us to explore that ship a bit. One of these uh, ships where a lot of bandits are near. Let's just double check real quick. No, we're fine. We are well rested. Everything should be good. Fight armor. I think we should be okay. Alright, they're trying to come around from the other side. Oh wow. That was a harsh hit. We're going to need to heal that up. Trying the other side. Ah, we would be in one shot territory. Let me just heal that uh, back up. Uh, before we even go in. They do have three archers and I have little to no appetite in running into them. So we're going to take it slow, nice and steady wins the race, or slow and steady wins the race. Yep, they have a leveled bandit right there, at least. Level 12. Oh, and they do have solid bolts that are hitting hard. Good, gotta regenerate. And let's regenerate some magicka as well.
That way we can heal faster. I thought I had waited out both of their bolts. Apparently that was not the case. That one is helpful. Uh, we're running out of healing potions. I do have plenty of um, flowers. Blue Mountain flowers, if you ever play the game, are uh, incredibly helpful at the beginning of uh, the game. They make for cheap potions. I will need to invest the funds that we're getting here. Too many archers. <laughs> Just too many archers. Holy moly. Red mountain flowers are helping us to regenerate mana. In a true fashion of a paladin, we're taking a few hits, but we're also dishing out some. They they will go down eventually. Four archers. It's almost not possible to not be hit at all by four but we're getting them down one at a time is anyone coming from that other side no currently not Like I said, slow and steady wins the race. Are you kidding me? Two down. Quite a few more that are going to be somewhere here. Just opening that bear trap. Like I said, I wasn't expecting a paladin to mainly rely on a crossbow. But it happens to work out nicely. Steel bolts. Well, you really get some of uh, those back there's still another soldier here another bandit rather this was their boss purify undead well i tell you what we got some carry capacity left over. Might as well use that. That's some good money right there. Glass arrow can go. 
I hate holding on to that Imperial bow of draining. And that's the last bandit who somehow got stuck, uh, stuck in the water. Steel crossbow 61 as opposed to our 60. Yeah, that's not worth the upgrade. I hate to say it, but the staff needs to go. We will find more loot as time progresses. Let's just double check down here. Oftentimes there is quite interesting loot or you would expect at the least. I haven't cleared that uh, rack in 3BF tweaks yet. We definitely got the boss chest. Yep, but there we go. Expert lock. Okay, well, we can't be that. But I can come back with a master key and get that later down the road. Good. Next stop, uh, the other shoreline. Right, right into the battle, I am on my way to a chest location when I got ambushed by a few bandits. Trying to avoid getting shot by the guy in the back. Managing my stamina at the same time. Alright, keep it going. The archer has switched positions. Gotta keep that sweet distance so that we're not being hit. Wow, she's blocking a lot. Trying to weld her stamina down. I ate that power attack for no reason. Should have blocked it. And of course, whenever mud traps can join they will time for us to regain some of the health And we should be out of one shot range for this guy. Oh, yeah. The stronger bolts seem to be gone. Alright, not the cleanest fight. I sucked at that. But we eventually made it. The I'm currently on the way to uh, find some treasure maps because I figured that would be interesting for you as well. Respectively, we already got some treasure maps and uh, now it's more a matter of uh, getting and turning them in so nice little bandit camp here 
apparently right at uh, Uttering uh, Hills Cave. So I am contemplating going into the Uttering uh, Hills Caves. I wanted to give an explanation because it was a bit jumping right into the action. I explored all of the co uh, coastline here. We found a treasure map at uh, this location. Went through Bleak Coast Cave, which is a troll cave, so that's a no-no for us. And we have another uh, treasure map from Traitor's Post. So we do have two treasure maps. So it's time for us now to do a bit of treasure hunting before we continue with clean, uh, clearing up the entire region. Might as well go into Artering Cave to make that work. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is one of the caves, which is actually a bit more difficult, mainly due to its super close quarters. Yeah, I deserve that one hit. See, we almost got uh, pinched to the wall. Time to heal up. Eat all of the stuff for extra mana. And heal up again. And back to our little sneaking game. Not that we could sneak really well in full plate. But it is at least something. Bring it on, buddy. I want to get hit by those bolts. Okay, finally. It's a bit of an archery duel now. But even if as a leveled archer that he was, he shouldn't just walk in, buddy. That is not a clever way. Pretty decent loot. And there's another enemy. Yeah, he's perked. Uh, he can block very fast. Block and swing very fast. There are almost no openings. And he hits hard with his power attacks. Gotta be really quick on his openings. Good, we don't need the leather bra uh, bracers. Now, if my memory serves me well, the boss isn't that far away, so might as well poison our weapon. Take all of that. Time to end this. 
Oh, that's the boss. Only take openings after power attack and don't be where the power attack is. Then goes for his acquaintance here. Okay, poison is off. Gotta be really careful with this guy. And his acquaintance, who might be somewhere lurking behind us. Ooh, okay. Wow, what a slaughter fest. Nice, he got food on him. That's helpful. Taking one of those, um, and in terms of food, cabbage soup isn't too bad. Long lasting main course with uh, stamina regeneration. I'll take that for the next big cave. I think this has been it, at least I hope so. Taking some cheese, potion of invisibility, that's helpful, although can't really sneak. How much is that? No, it's not worth enough for the weight. Where is the boss chest? We had like literally one guy here hmm okay apparently the adept chest is the best we can get I mean, from a food perspective, the dungeon... Oh, there we go. See? I was wondering where you would be. Fantastic. 
time for some leveling. So we wanted one handed to 25, that's helpful. I think blocking to 25 would be good as well. But before we do that, restoration. Let's get that all the way up to 25. And we're definitely going to also increase destruction magic because we need ranged capabilities and I want to be able to sling a couple of spells. Now that that is done, alchemy and block would be the next two that I would want to raise to kind of a minimum level. And 25 is so easy to get. Health, Magicka, still one and one. I'll go in, into stamina if and when uh, time permits. We do have two perks. And I'm thinking. I mean, one handed is an obvious choice, right? Heavy armor is another obvious one. Combat casting for the easiest spells. That will give us for uh, enough for novice and apprentice, so that's quite helpful. The poison resistance would be good, very good indeed, but we need more core damage. And I think for now we're just going with another 20% than penetrating strikes. And Flurry will be helpful as well, just to be a bit faster. So getting that core fighter talents done. There is definitely quite a bit here for us in restoration. High restoration uh, uh, spells, focused mind, definitely helpful for more ma uh, magicka regeneration. But I felt heavy armor and just being able to cast to begin with would be helpful. Now, with that, healing aura. Yeah, it's become somewhat more bearable. I'll search through the dungeon in detail and we see each other at the next location. So, our first treasure map is treasure map number seven. And it nicely shows uh, that one gallow there, which uh, you would find at Gallows Rock. Might uh, still remember Gallows Rock from the companion quest line. A lot of stinky silver hands are here. And we really don't want to mess with them. Matter of fact, I pulled them away, let them run into a spriggan and be killed. Took a while, but it is the best way of dealing with it. And that is our first big treasure, bigger treasure. We're going to get quite a bit of uh, mon uh, money from it. So that'll help us to progress with the character and also buy some more potions. Good, the tr second treasure map that we found, treasure map number eight, shows uh, this strange picture, which is located near the Dragon Bridge. Location that becomes infamous later in the main campaign because the killing is happening there So I walked all the way from solitude to here. It's a two-part treasure number one. We're going to get the master key Which is right there number two We got to do some swimming To find that master key locked chest and boy boy that is great
Heal save 3, that's fantastic. A uh, tiny bit overloaded, but I think this here should do the trick. And let's get away from all of the slaughter fish. I don't want to have to deal with them. So we are having quite a bit of money now. Almost 5,000, easily more once I'm done selling all of the stuff. Which means I will shop a bit, and after that is done, we're returning back to our Windhelm adventure and the Forsaken Cave, where we still need, and uh, the Covenant uh, Cave, where we still need to do a few more minor quests to get these two cleaned out. Um, afterwards, I am contemplating um, the idea of getting a cheaper horse at Riften. I know. Uh, getting the same, uh, doing the same quest over and over might not be the most attractive uh, thing, but it's uh, certainly one of the things that we could uh, use. Because if we're going from dungeon to dungeon, which this character is supposed to do, then we will need a transportation device. We still need a few more levels under our belt, so this year should be fine. And then uh, this year would be an additional chance for us to level. So. Uh, let's do exactly that. Uh, I'll be back after I did all of the organization. All right, off we go. We are in Solstein. I started uh, the unearthed quest for some more equipment later down the line. And in the meantime, we can use our position here to do a rather more difficult bandit camp. I... Uh, though since we have successfully finished the cavern might as well do that here and someone has just killed the last ash spawn Wow, these guys do have shock arrows and frost arrows. Your tank has no place here. Trying to bait a hit of uh of her. That's the opening we were looking for. Oh, and she's not even the boss, I see. Oh, the captain supports as well. I don't mind that level of support. Gotta be careful, uh, really careful here. said the same for some of the redder and guard <laughs> taken to calling them well <laughs> i don't care what they call not as i would have guessed it worked he <clears throat> definitely stole the experience from us i know is there a danger to raven rock and they need to be stopped i can use your but i guess we at least get the loot <clears throat> and i think we killed one plus there is still a bandit boss somewhere around here I guess that's him and we even killed him well not exactly like i said how i wish i it would have worked but 
overall pretty damn good 214 defense on his shield what is our shield 240 for 20 weight that's about the same although they uh, theirs is much cooler looking than ours We still got a stamina problem, which we will need to solve. Plain steel maze, nothing to write home about. We don't have the key yet. Okay, there is the master chest I was hoping for. <clears throat> At least... At least we got that and we'll get a reward for the quest of returning that book. So look, all in all, not too bad. It worked very different in the fight uh, than what I would have expected. But if you kite them long enough, eventually either you or someone else will get ambushed. In this case, it was uh, them. Let me collect all of the remaining stuff. That elven war axe looks neat. And that helmet is good. There are a couple of nice items that he has. Nothing from a weight to um, weight to protection ratio that would be better than what we have. Let me collect all of uh, the re uh, residual stuff here. And uh, then... We're off to our next place. Next step, we are west of uh, Riften, east of Riften, actually. And we're on our way to get Frost, the ever so trustworthy horse. By hopefully pulling some, but not all of the mercenaries. Okay. Good. Bring it on. They do a quite heavy armor. So this will take a few hits. One down, one more to go. I'll wait for her power attack. I was about to say I'll wait for her power attack. So that uh, I can take that as an opening. Oh boy! Come on! There we go. That's the opening I was hoping for. Going in a bit quicker than, than her. Interrupting her. We don't want to steal great sword. Thank you, but no thank you.
Good. Two down. I think still a few more to go. Magicka regeneration. Just to go back to full. And let's scout the exterior premise. Oftentimes there is another one. If we can kill more right now, then we don't need to pull all of them out. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. He swings slower, but also hits harder. How was I in range? I find that highly doubtful. And he turned around just when I thought he would be running. What kind of weapon did he had? Uh, Dwarven Warhammer. Okay, that explains uh, the amount of damage. We're still eating and getting all of our mana back. Trying to go in there with a semi uh, full health at least. And I believe the best way of going about it is taking the main entrance. That's just easiest to kite. All right, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Nah, that's not a good idea, Saiken. Okay, that already pulled them. Slightest move in heavy armor is enough to let them know we're here. Kidding me? Well, uh, this is now going to be interesting. They walk towards one door, so they shouldn't be here. We got all four of them here. Good. I tried to separate them slightly, but that didn't work. Need to wait for the openings. Like those ones. With every single opening though, I'm running the risk of getting caught out and power attacked by someone else.
There we go. Nicely ate that. Really need to wait for the power attacks to happen. Okay, I could have I could separate one of them, but he's now picking back up. Not optimal. It's too uh, too short. I'm. Uh, Still trying to be well away from all of them, but it is difficult. Your kind has no place. I have killed you. Good. Going back to tried and true tactics. Come on. That's the problem. The moment that one of them attacks, there is just a small opening. And that opening is not always helpful. I need a short moment to refocus. So we got all of that. We're out of the other ingredients. One of them snuck up from behind. I heard them. Still too close together. Almost there. Bring it on. I think I can kite them and really separate them. Two good hits. Good, now it becomes definitely easier. Good. Ooh. Uh, 
on sale so far down you can rel uh, kill them with relative ease okay four down and now it's just up to <clears throat> me looting the house getting all of the important stuff out of there and sealing the horse so that'll be the next uh, the next uh, step i think that's also uh, soon the end of the episode let me just trade everything in and then we'll see good we got ourselves frost as a horse which is a great milestone let's use the remaining uh, points that we have accumulated and just get all of uh, the necessary skills up I still would want to just get a few more levels out of this so blocking goes to 25 because we can use it later down the road Fantastic. Are we going to use marksmanship? Unlikely. But I was considering, and still am, considering alchemy as a backup, depending on how many perks we have left over. So getting that at least to 25 is not a bad idea, if for nothing else but for perk points and leveling up. Good, almost 25. Close, very close. We are taking stamina increase. I tell you what, we're taking another stamina increase. Because that's our biggest issue at the moment. Heavy armor, we could become more resistant to poison. What are we talking about? 20% poison resistance. 30% actually. Not a bad idea. But before we do that, I think... 10% more attack speed is helpful. And I finally would like to get the less cost for power attacks that will be so helpful i haven't thought through what kind of one hand weapon we're getting so far so that still needs to wait we have also not perked anything into alchemy if anything i think the restoration tree needs more love so as always in requiem you're short on perks uh way way short but we're level seven there is still a lot to do Next up, I think the next two talents would be Apprentice here. Can't yet get to improved healing. And I think focused uh, mind. The extra Magicka regeneration is independent of our, uh, of our skills is going to help us a lot. So that is good. As for blocking, that's not a bad. Uh, that is not a bad uh, option either. But I can't take all of these skills not immediately. Let's stick with what we have and uh, take it from there. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I thoroughly appreciate uh, the series. This was uh, the next episode from Diaries of Death. Prometheus has certainly made some progress and I think we are almost at the point where we can take on a bit uh, more difficult content such as a few undeads so uh, if uh, you like to destroy undeads as just as much as I do uh, try hitting that like button I promise you it's a holy plus one button with extra damage against undeads take care have a good one and see you later bye bye